a very warm welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Grotha. Let us talk about how one can set the specification for dissolution uh, for the immediate release dosage form. And I'm talking in the context of generic drug product. So this video is prepared based on to the guideline published by European Medicines Agency or the EMA. And uh, this is the name of that particular guidance document. The reflection paper on the dissolution specification for generic solid oral immediate release dosage products with systemic circulation. So whatever points I am going to discuss with you today is actually based on to this guidance document. Let us go back to the presentation. And here we go. So I am also going to discuss very briefly about selection of test conditions. And when it comes to selection of the test condition, it will be about selection of apparatus and the selection of dissolution medium and its volume. So how one can select the apparatus in case of a generic product which is immediate release drug product. So two apparatuses are very common. Paddle with 50 RPM or basket with 100 RPM. So this is the preferred choice in case of these two different steering apparatuses. In case if you want to have the, the greater upper speed, maybe for 75 with the paddle or 150 with the basket, you need to justify it scientifically. Now when it comes to dissolution medium, your dissolution medium should have the physiological relevance. If you look at our gastrointestinal tract, what is the pH range? Maybe it varying from pH 1.2 to 6.8. So the pH should not be beyond this particular window. Similarly, the composition of your dissolution media can reflect the composition of the gastrointestinal tract. In case if you want to represent the gastric fluid, you can think about the 0.1 normal ACL. If you want to reflect the small intestine fluid, you can think about the pH 4.5 to 6.8 buffer. But you cannot have the compositions which does not reflect or simulate with the gastrointestinal tract. The another important point is when it comes to selection of the dissolution medium, you should not select the composition containing organic solvent, composition containing the uh, surfactant. So this is not encouraged as per this guideline. Now when it comes to selection of volume, uh, we cannot really have a dissolution volume which can actually mimic the real life scenario which can be think of around 250 ml. If you consider that the patient is going to take a water with uh, 200 to 250 ml of the water and it also contains the sum of the fluid present into the stomach. So that can probably bring near to around 500 ml and for that reason the 500 ml dissolution volume is more preferred. So you must start your method development by taking 500 ml as a dissolution volume. But in case for some reason like sink condition is not, not achieved, you may justify higher volumes like 900 ml or even more than that. So this is the brief introduction on selection of different dissolution conditions. Now our main purpose of uh, today's discussion is how one can set the dissolution specification and that is here. So these are the seven important points. And let us start our discussion with point number one. So what is the reference you have to take while setting the dissolution specification for a generic product? And that can be your bioequivalent study. And you must have used your badge, your test product, and the bioavailability of that test product must have been compared with the reference drug product. 
Now, whatever batch you have used during the bioequivalence study, that becomes your bio batch. And I am sure you must have carried out the dissolution for that particular batch. So that dissolution release value is very important in deciding on to the specification for that particular product. So how to decide the specification then? The release that is a Q is equal to the release quantity Q is equal to bio batch dissolution which must preferably come from the average of 12 units minus 10 percent so you can propose the specification which is equal to the bio batch dissolution value minus 10 percent so what is the rationale behind saying minus 10 percent is acceptable now if you look at the similarity values you will find that the, if the dissolution release is in between 10 percent if the difference is not more than 10 percent then that result can be called as a similar dissolution release so with this particular information we can propose this dissolution specification in case if my bio batch dissolution is 90 percent the 90 minus 10 becomes 80 that 80 percent can become the preferred dissolution specification uh, you must also understand that you know you will you will will have never seen the dissolution specification with uh, let us say 78 percent or 71 percent it always goes in the increment or decrement of five percent 70 percent if not then 75 percent or 80 percent so that point also needs to be considered and we will talk about that point in the the next uh, discussion so this release quantity the specification for dissolution of a generic product is preferably should be in the range of 75 to 85 percent so less than 75 percent should be justified and more than 85 percent doesn't make any sense so for that reason this 75 to 85 percent is much preferred dissolution specification for the generic product what about time points so the time points usually can be 15 minutes or 30 minutes or even 45 minutes and we'll talk about those in the upcoming points but the time point lesser than 15 minutes is unnecessary because there can be a lot of variations coming out of unit to unit and for that reason I think 15 minutes or above is always preferred okay so this is very first important point if dissolution of bio batch is larger than or equal to 95 percent in 15 minutes so you have run the dissolution for bio batch and you found that the dissolution of bio batch is a 95 percent or greater than that at 15 minutes time point so how you are going to decide onto the specification the specification may be set to q is equal to 85 percent after 50 minutes right so we said that the dissolution should be in the range of 75 percent to 85 percent so here 95 is the release or maybe more greater than the 95 percent is the release for the bio batch in that situation a specification of not less than 85 percent in 15 minutes becomes the suitable one let us take the example to understand this one and here is the example onto your screen so bio batch result is 98 percent which is greater than 95 percent at 15 minutes so the proposed q the proposed release quantity for this product can be not less than 85 percent at 15 minutes time point if dissolution of bio batch i am discussing point number four now if dissolution of the bio batch is less than 95 percent but larger than or equal to 85 percent in 15 minutes so dissolution is less than 95 percent for the bio batch but it is not less than 85 percent so how you are going to define the specification 
and here is the guidance document the q the release quantity q may be set to 75 80 or 85 percent whichever is closer to bio batch result minus 10 percent at 15 minutes see this minus 10 percent concept is very important and we discuss it the reason behind that the window of minus 10 also going to define that the batch is having the similar dissolution profile minus 10 percent with the similarity factor calculation so and also very important to understand that the dissolution values should be in the range of increment or decrement of 5 percent or near to that you have not you must have not seen any dissolution limit of not less than 71 percent or not less than 81 percent it can be either 75 percent or 70 percent or 80 or 85 percent so it always goes this way so let us understand this particular point with the example. The dissolution release is less than 95% but more than 85% and here is the result of the bio batch which is 88% at 15 minutes. So what is the Q point now? The Q point is uh, bio batch result minus 10 that becomes 78%. Now, here is the cache now. So you cannot say the dissolution specification of not less than 78%. You need to choose closer one, either 75 or 80 or 85. So the 78% is close to which value? And it is close to the 80% because difference is only 2%. And for that reason, you can have the specification limit of not less than 80% at 15 minutes. I hope you understand, you know, how this closer value must be selected okay so let us go on to the point number five so if dissolution of the bio batch is larger than or equal to 85 percent only after 30 minutes see so far at the point number three or at point number four we talked about 15 minutes dissolution release now this is the point where the dissolution is either greater than or equal to 85 percent but the time point is not 15 minutes but it is 30 minutes at this particular example so how to define the specification for dissolution so q your dissolution release specification may be set to 75 80 or 85 percent whichever closer to bio batch result minus 10 percent at 30 minutes I hope you understand how the specification can be calculated. The next important point is if the I am talking about the point number six. If the dissolution of the bio batch is larger than or equal to 85 percent only after 45 minutes. See we are moving from 15 minutes to 30 minutes and now it is 45 minutes time point. So how to set the limit for this particular situation. The Q, that is your dissolution release specification, may be set to 75, 80 or 85 after 45 minutes. So you can think about which one is suitable for you. In case if the dissolution release is equal to or larger than 85%. And last but not the least, in case dissolution of the bio batch is less than or equal to 85 percent after 45 minutes so dissolution is still less than the 85 percent or just equal to 85 percent in that case and i'm talking about the dissolution of the bio batch so how to set how to decide the limit for your product the dissolution release quantity q must be set to minimum of 75 percent at 45 minutes so you cannot set the specification less than 75 percent according to this particular guideline and i hope you must remember which guideline which reference document i am talking about i hope now you must have got the better clarity on setting the specification for the uh, dissolution of a generic product which is immediate release dosage form. Thank you so much.